Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with construction project management in the topic of project scheduling. So in this problem we have to find out the critical path and critical duration uh, then EST, EFT, LST, LFT that is the earliest start time, earliest finish time, latest start time and latest finish time. So we can use the critical path method that is CPM. So the given is activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So there are seven activities are given. Then producer relationship also given. So uh, for A activities, there is no producers. And uh, B activity, there is no producers. But C activity, the A and B are the producer. So that means uh, the C activity will be started after the completion of A and B. And uh, C activity will be, sorry, D activity will be started after the completion of C activity. Likewise, E activity will be started after the completion of C activities. So then corresponding activity duration also given. So for A activity uh, 3 is the duration and uh, B activity 5 is the duration. C is 4 and uh, D for 6 and uh, E for 3 and for F activity 5 and for G activity the duration is 6. So now we, we can uh, form the network path. Uh, so first uh, the A and B the activity. So there is no producer activity. So we can uh, put So A, A activity, so there is no producer activity uh, and also B activity also uh, there is no producer activity. B activity. So next uh, for C activity A and B are the producers. So after completion of A and B uh, we can solve the C. So now uh, we draw C like this. C activity. So next uh, D activity. So for D activity C is the producer. So we can uh, draw here D activity and uh, for E activity also F is the sorry uh, for E activity C is the producer. This is E activity and uh, F for F activity D is the producer. This is for F activity. Finally, G for G activity, E and F is the producer activity. So in E, F is the producer activity. We can put over here. So there is a G. So we can write the corresponding duration A or uh, 3 and 5, C for 4 and uh, D for 6 and E for uh, 3, F for 5 and uh, G for 6. So from that we have to find out the critical path and critical duration. So we, we can uh, write the path. So A, C, D, F and G. So next one is B, C, D, F and G. So next B, C, E, G. Next one is A, C, E, G. So these are all the paths. So in this path corresponding duration also we can write. So 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6. So next uh, this activity. So 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6. So next uh, this path. 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. So again this path 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. So now the total duration is 24. Uh, here uh, 26. Here 18. 16. So the longest uh, duration is the critical duration and the longest path is critical path. So now we can take uh, 26 is the critical duration and B, C, D, F, G is the critical path. So we can highlight the critical path. So B, then C, then D, then F and G. So this is the critical path. So again, we are going to find out the EST, EFT, LST and LFT of the corresponding activities. So the procedure to find out the EST and EFT. So we can put plus simple. So here EST, then EFT, then LST, then LFT. 
so and uh, we have to remember whenever go uh, up forward uh, so the maximum value will be taken and uh, if you go uh, reverse direction the minimum value will be taken so this is a, this is the uh, so this is the basic concept we have to remember in while find out the est eft lst and lft so we can put the plus mark in every activities for b activity for c activity for d activity and uh, for e activity then this is for f activity this is for g activity so first we have to uh, write uh, zero so there is no producer activity so we have to we can put zero and also we can put zero over here so this is the early start time so early finish time is uh, zero plus three days uh, three days for this a activity so zero plus three is equal to three and here zero plus uh, five equal to five so now we can uh, take in the est of uh, c activity so now we calculate the EST of uh, C activity. So for C activity, we have to know uh, the EFT of preceding activity. So the EFT of preceding activity A and B. So there is uh, 3 and 5 is there. So and we have to remember. So for forward direction, the maximum duration uh, will be taken. So now uh, 3 and 5. So the maximum duration is 5. So we can put 5 over here. So the 5 plus 4 equal to 9. So we can put 9 over here and also we can put 9 over here because uh, uh, the EFT of uh, succeeding sorry EFT of preceding activity will be uh, taken as uh, EST of current activity. So now uh, 9, 9 plus 6 equal to 15. So here 9 plus 3 equal to 12. Uh, then uh, we can take in uh, 15 over here. So 15 plus 5 equal to 20. So now for G activity uh, the EST value is the EFT of preceding activity. So the preceding activity EFT is uh, 20 and 12. So the, this is forward direction. We have to take uh, maximum duration. So now we can put 15 over, sorry, 20 over here. So 20 and 12. So 20, we can take in 20. So 20 plus 6 this is a 26. So this is a method we can find out the EST and EFT. So for uh, for A activity, EST value is uh, 0 and EFT value is 3. And for C activity, EST value is uh, 5 and EFT value is 9. For G activity, EST value is 20, 20 and EFT value is uh, 26. Okay. So likewise, uh, we can find out the LST and LFT. So now we can put uh, 26 over here. So this is the maximum duration. So 26 over here and uh, we can uh, reduce the value. So 26 minus uh, 6 equal to 20. So now we can take uh, 20 over here and also sorry 20 over here also we can put 20 over here so 20 minus 3 equal to uh, 17 and uh, 20 minus 5 equal to 50 okay we can take in 50 over here so because uh, lft of current activity is uh, lst of uh, succeeding activity so now we can put uh, 15 over here so 15 minus 6 equal to 9 so for c activity uh, we can uh, put lft over here so lft is a uh, so LFT of current activity is uh, LST of succeeding activity. So there is uh, two succeeding activities there. So 9 and uh, 17. So uh, for uh, for reverse direction, we have to take minimum uh, duration. So there is a 17 and 9. So the minimum du uh, duration is 9. So we can put 9 over here. So 9 plus 4 is equal 9 plus, uh, sorry, 9 minus 4 equal to 5. So then uh, we can put 5 over here and also we can put 5 over here. So then uh, we can uh, minus uh, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So the purpose of find out this uh, LST and LFT. So this is the meaning. So because uh, the latest start time. So we can start the A activity after the two uh, two days. Uh, we can complete the project in 26 days. So there is no uh, lagging over here. If case any lagging happened in the critical path that will be affected the project duration because for example take uh, the B activity will be completed uh, so B activity uh, started after one day uh, it will be become six and it will become six over here so everything will be change so likewise the critical path activity is uh, there is no relaxation over here so we can uh, we can see over here so the C is the critical uh, path activity so five nine five nine. So and also uh, we can take uh, D activity 5, 9 and 5, sorry 9, 15, 9, 15. So but uh, now we can take an uh, E activity. So 
so 17 and 20 so uh, there is a relaxation time so after the ninth day uh, we don't need to start the e-activity so we can start the e-activity in 17 days we can complete the project within duration so this is the meaning to uh, meaning for lst and lft in another video we can see the float and the slack time okay again we will see in next video thank you